My name is Carl Ross of the University of Portsmouth, United Kingdom. Today I'm going to talk about the combined bending and torsion experiment. This is the combined bending and torsion experiment. We have some electrical resistance strain gauges. Now we've got a shear pair there, that one there, and that one there, at 45 degrees, which measures the shear strain. Combined together with the Wilson bridge, they will give the shear strain. And we've also got a longitudinal gauge which measures the bending strain. This 2 kilogram mass has to be multiplied by 9.81 meters per second squared to convert it to newtons. Now this force here is resisted by a reaction up here, and this reaction times that labor causes a bending moment. Reaction there times that labor. At this end here, you've also got another 2 kilogram mass, which will cause a reaction here, and that reaction times that labor causes a bending moment. So the bending moment is constant between there and there, and if the bending moment is constant, you get no shearing force. Moreover, this force, so this lever, causes a torque, which is like that. And this force here, of that lever, causes a torque like that. So this part of the section here is subjected to combined bending and torsion. Now, to calculate the principal stresses, we first got to calculate sigma x and sigma y. Now, sigma x is given by the bending moment caused by this reaction times that lever and that bending moment, you get sigma x by sigma x over y equals m over i. Sigma y, there's no stress here, sigma y is zero. Now to get 2xy, we have to calculate this force times this lever to give us the torque. We calculate that by 2xy on r equals t on j. And to calculate the maximum principal stress, we have sigma 1 equals a half open bracket sigma x plus sigma y close brackets plus a half square root of open bracket open bracket sigma x minus sigma y close bracket squared plus 4 to x y squared close bracket to get the minimum principle for us sigma 2 it's a half of open bracket sigma x plus sigma y close bracket minus a half square root of open bracket open bracket sigma x minus sigma y close bracket squared plus 4 to x y squared close bracket Get these formulae, consult Mechanics of Solids written by me, or Strength of Materials and Structures written by Case, Chilver and Ross, where you get all these formulae.